Well, we're switching gears now to two East Bay Elementary students who are behind a new book that's helping fund our schools. Sophia and Kiara Kofet are here along with their mom, Tamara. Hi, welcome. Hi, thank you. Thanks for being here tonight, guys. So you are asking other kids to join you in changing the world. And you wrote this book called Isabella Makes a Difference. So let's talk with you first because you're the author. Tell me about your inspiration for this book. Did you want to inspire some other kids to start doing things yes. in their community? Yes. Um, I, wa I knew from the beginning that kids could help the world because of pennies for peace mm -hmm. and how a, a lot of all my classmates and Kiara and I uh, raised a lot of money and how uh, we donated uh, an animal for heifer which um, provides animals for poor people. Mm -hmm. And so from the beginning, I knew that kids could help the world, and I wanted other kids to know that they could help the world, too. Very good. So you're nine years old now. You wrote the book back when you were, oh, six years old, yes. at a ripe age of six. And your sister here, Kiara, you were the person who did all the drawings, right? Yeah. Talk to me about that. What was that like, doing the drawings for your book and working with your sister? I really liked working with Sophia because she was very nice and it's easy to work with her. Oh, that's a good <laughs> sister answer. She better be slipping you five bucks later. <laughs> so, Mom, talk to me about this. How proud are you of your girls? And, you know, how did you react when they said, this is something we want to take on? I'm very proud of them. In fact, it was, I went out to the coffee pot at six in the morning and Sophia was sitting in the dark at the kitchen table. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? What are you doing awake? And she said, Mom, I'm going to write a book and it's about how kids can help the world. <coughs> And I think what's interesting is the book is in two parts. Sophia, why don't you tell her really quickly what that's about? Well, the first part is fiction. Mm -hmm. It's about a girl named Isabella who tries again and again to help the world, but fails in the beginning, but in the end succeeds because she doesn't give up. Mm -hmm. The second part of the book is nonfiction. I have listed some of my favorite organizations and websites and have a whole goal setting section. Good. So if kids are watching this right now, what do you want them to know? I want to, them to know that they can help the world, too. And how about you, Kiara? I want them to know that they um, can do whatever they want to help the world. And you, you, they talked a little bit about Pennies for Peace and some of the fundraising efforts they did. Tell us about that, Mom. Well, Sophia and Kiara, they picked their favorite organizations, and they put it in the book. And they also have a goal-setting section, which, which helps kids get started right now with the help of their parents and teachers. And then they can go also to their website, HowKidsCanHelpTheWorld.com. How can people get this book, and where do the proceeds from this book go? So, HowKidsCanHelpTheWorld.com, and then what they're doing is giving 40% of the proceeds to the schools that get involved and join Sophia and Kiara, and then also right there on the website they give Donors Choose, which is an organization that helps teachers across the whole country. Um, they give proceeds to the book as well. Fantastic. Do you have a goal number in mind, and where are you at, at this point? Sophia, what are your goals for well, the book? Well, I want to, I want to sell 200 copies for money for schools, but I've only sold 50 books yet. Well, you're almost there, a quarter <laughs> of the way. All right. Sophia, Kiara, and Mom tomorrow, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for being with us Thanks tonight. And keep us. up the good work. Thank you.